Man, let me show y'all some shit right quick. I just got out of the truck, right? I know y'all hear Oshun in the background. But look, though. I pull in the parking lot, right? How the fuck? Look. That's a seven. A seven of diamonds, which would equate to seven of pentacles. All right? Seven of pentacles there. All right? Seven of pentacles there. All right? Y'all hear Ogun in the background right there. Alright, so let me see. Let's see, y'all. Seven of Pentacles shows you understand the value of putting in time and energy. And see, now for longer term rewards and have a strong desire to invest in your future. It also says here. Seven of Pentacles can represent manifestation of ideas, ambitions, or goals. So now is a great time to focus on what you want to achieve and make it happen. How about that? <laughs> shit, I just pulled in the damn parking lot. Uh, this shit right here, this shit is right here in the parking lot looking at me. So y'all know what that means. Y'all already know what that means, shouting. Y'all heard what the shit said. All right, let me pull up, let me pull up. Let me pull up, uh, let me pull up seven of, uh, let me pull up seven of diamonds and cardomancy right quick. Why are we on them, motherfucker? Cardomancy or cardology. Says here, seven is the number of a soul and symbolizes a spiritual victory. How about that? Says here, quest for higher truth, uh, and silence, peace. And self-examination, we go toward perfection. Hold on, let me get the whole article here. Uh, blah. Let's just say, often the seven of diamonds are born into money. Others marry money. Others have a great ability and fantastic potential to make a fortune, but only when they realize the real value of wealth as well as its limitations. Now, that's pretty fucking dope right there. It goes on to say here, the seven of diamonds have a psychic gift and desire for higher knowledge. That's a fact. I got a natural TFK thirst for knowledge. It says here, they can become an excellent employer that cares about the welfare of others. And let me see here. It says the leader of an organization working for progress and improvement. Especially after 45. 445 is 9. That's pretty fucking cool right there, y'all. So that's cardology. Let me get cardomancy, then I'm gonna let y'all go. Let me get the goddamn seven. Seven of diamonds. Cardomancy. Alright? I'm gonna give y'all all the meanings of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Because like I be talking about all the time, it's 3.33 when I'm saying this shit. 3.33 on the clock, and it's about to be 3.30 on the video. You know what I'm saying? So, like I was saying, I'm trying to get y'all all this shit. Because when you see this type of shit and you're in a high vibrational state, everything is a message from spirit. So, Cardomancy says, Seven of Diamonds. Uh, this card symbolizes success, achievement, prosperity, and material gain, but also signifies being possessive about what you have gained. Uh, hold on now, let me see. I don't think I wanted to read that one. Uh, I'm gonna read this one here. Je je e fu fu le je yo wa o o ya o a she. Alright, um, uh, kind of get caught up in that shit. Let me see here. So, uh, yeah, Seven of Diamonds is a card that often refers to financial gain and prosperity. It can also represent fulfillment in terms of your career, business, and personal life. Fucking ad pops up there. The Seven of Diamonds could be seen as an indication that material things are not the most important thing for you at this time. That's a fact. We're tapping into that spiritual energy. It says here, it might instead signify spiritual growth and emotional development. That's deep as fuck right there. And it's got meanings for love here. We're not necessarily looking for that. 
It says here, it's telling you that there's a lot of work ahead and to be careful what you say, right? Because because words are spells, right? We all we all have that Thai energy. We all have the ability to speak life over our life, y'all. Let me see what else it says here. Be careful what you say. It suggests that your best course of action would be following the advice given by other people who are more experienced than you. Someone in authority like an employer or a parent or an older friend or some shit or, you know, older relative or some shit. All they say was employer or parent. I'm not going to talk to the fucking employer about my personal shit. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. They just want to goddamn, you know what I'm saying? They just want you to slave and shit. They ain't worried about that shit. <laughs> but anyway... <laughs> But anyway, man, I could goddamn babble, babble all day long about this shit, but I just want to goddamn tap in on that right quick. Let me goddamn, hold on now. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that the parking lot, because that could be a message for somebody else, all right? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to goddamn, I'm going to show y'all one more time. Show y'all one more time. Just got out the truck. That motherfucker right here in front of the truck. Just got out that motherfucker. That motherfucker sitting right there. All right. Now, when you, when you vibrating high, Everything is a message from spirit, guys. Just want to tap in on that right quick. You know what I'm saying? Share that with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. Toss a car. Hey, Ruru Ha here. Signing off. Until the next time. I say, I say, and I say again.